thank you everyone for joining me and the whole team, the Emma Bowen Foundation. We are so excited to have you here today. I want to say a round of applause that we made it. Broadcasting from New York City. Shout out to everybody who's in this chat right now. Let's have a little party on this chat right now. Let's go. We have six members who are uh, in your shoes. They are now EBF alums, uh, representing a diverse group of companies: Acuity Brands, Amazon, General Motors, NBCU, and Tesla. Ethan, it was so nice to meet you, and thank you for sharing on social media. <laughs> thank you so much. First off, how are you all today? How are you all managing during these challenging times? I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy. I hope you're staying sane. Um, and I know at the very end of this, we're gonna hold a Q&A. So I want you to write down your questions while I'm talking. Um, and I look forward to hearing uh, questions I can answer for you. No, um, I didn't go into journalism wanting to write about food. Um, as a matter of fact, it was my dream to be an editor of this big New York City magazine on Broadway. And my goal was to just connect with young women. I really appreciate that we, communities of color, are now having this conversation around real wealth. I to tell you how special and awesome yesterday was. It exceeded our expectations. You're not trying to change who you are to fit the room. You're trying to figure out how best to communicate who you are within the room. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Clap it up and give yourselves love in the virtual room. Student of the year is Lumiere Rostick. Hi everyone. And thank you so much for this award. I can't express how thankful I am to be a part of this cohort and this Emma Bone family. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. And we have made it to our final day of our 2020 Emma Bone Foundation Summer Conference. Most recently, uh, as of exactly two months ago, I joined uh, Vice Media Group as their Chief People uh, Officer. Uh, I am uh, thrilled to be here with all of you. Fundamentally, people and culture um, is the heart of what I do, and this organization is a um, is, is really one of the key and most critical and eminent organizations supporting this work. Lastly, John Natero, Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion from Comcast Corporation. It's been a really great journey, um, and those internships, those fellowships, those connections, and those colleagues really helped get me to this place because it was through that um, that I created a network where I created friendships that I still have. <laughs> oh, that's just so funny to me. <laughs> Lily Dan, who's actually the Emma Bowen alum, who actually started out as a project manager and now is a business analyst. As someone that's super fresh into the industry, I'm still learning about how big Spectrum is and how many facets that we um, that we work on from IoT to not just a cable company. So I'm very much fresh into it and it's been um, very interesting to see how much we can do as not just a cable company but as an enterprise as a whole. The point about trying new aspects, trying new functionalities, trying new types of work to really find what you love, what you're passionate about, what you're good at. Do you feel that it's more important to acknowledge the past or to understand the future? Mm, mm, that's it, man. That's, you know, you just knocked out the park. Hey, 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 my my, my, my um, $50,000 a year college tuition for you didn't go two ways. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Now, I got to make you proud. Come on, man. Special shout outs to those who intimately were a part of the planning. They know who they are. Speak what you seek. 
until you see what you said. Let me say that again. Speak what you seek until you see what you said. And to that, I say, amen.